Well, round off, not a lot to do, so thought I might take the rest of the afternoon off. So what are you thinking of doing with it? Thought I might spend it with you. Joe. Oh, that doesn't sound very hopeful. Pity, I've got a bottle of champagne in the car as well. Champagne? You know what they say, best place to drink it. Yes, I have heard that. Oh, well, I mean, uh, if it's not on, fine, no problem. Look, I'll, um, I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Great. But Karen, I am fond of you, you know, very. I'm fond of you. In fact, I think I'm... Shh. Enough. You're not bothered what happened the other night? No. I must go. I mean, if you were, I would only, um... No, I'm not a bit, honestly. Fine. Look, I'll, um... I'll try and make it tonight, all right? I know well enough when you've got someone to tell me, lad. Or happen you tell me in your own good time. I reckon it's better said and shared than bottled up in that head of yours. I, I was determined it wasn't going to be like this. I said to myself, I've got nothing to hide, nothing to be ashamed of. Ma, I don't want secrets from you. I don't want secrets from the family, but I don't want folk finding out as if they were finding me out. As if my life was somewhat sordid and ought to be locked away, because it's not sordid. Joe? Oh, I said it all wrong now. Ma, I'm seeing Karen Moore. I see. It's not supposed to be a shock, it's just what I'm doing, that's all. Though, as a piece of news, it doesn't exactly trip off the tongue, does it? How long has this been going on? A couple of weeks. You don't like it, all right? I haven't said that. However you wanted it to sound, it is a bit of a surprise. I know. And it is important to you. Yeah, it is. It's important to both of us. I don't know, you, you said I ought to find myself a woman. Maybe I found the wrong one, but that's the way it happened. I won't say anything against a friend of yours, Joe. And if you're sure it's what you want. <clears throat> well, that's them done. I'll make a chiropodist yet, yeah, I reckon. Good for you, lad. <coughs> it's Jackie not back. No Sandy. Does it look like it? Well, now you mention it. Hello, Ma. No love. Oh, food. I'm ravenous. It's all ready. If you like to sit down. Are you going to adjust? Well, I can't understand how Alan let things get that far. I mean, Cliff is a good farmer, but he <clears throat> needs some help from time to time. Perhaps Mr. Turner didn't know about it. It's his job to find these things out. Well, you know what they say about tenants. As good as their landlords. Sometimes, Jack. Well, I'm going up. Night, Mark. Night. Night. Not by tomorrow, if you can, Joe. I'll try. Night, night. Yeah, well, uh, I'll be up as well. Sure you don't want a beer before you go? I uh, know, a long day tomorrow, uh, early start. Night. Right, night. Well. I've known livelier evenings in this house. Oh, come on, love. Is it worth a fuss? Is that what I'm doing? Why her, Jack? Have you asked yourself that? Not really, no. And why him? It is a bit close to home, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Look, uh, to be charitable for a moment, I hardly think that Joe seeing Karen is a 
deliberate plot to get at anybody. Well, you've certainly got a touching faith in her integrity, love. <sighs> well, look, even if it is, are we worried? I mean, are we really worried now? It's in the past, love. It's gone, forgotten. Why rake over old ashes? Are you worried what you might find? No. No. Love, are you in need of a bit of reassurance? Fine. You know, you know I'll give you that. Oh, Jack. What? I'm not looking for a pat on the head. But I'm not looking for a cosy family evening with Karen Moore, either. Well, who says there's going to be any? How much would it take for you to justify that? Eh? Hey? You're already apologising for her, excusing her. As far as I'm concerned, she's a destructive little cow. She always has been and she always will be. Yes. Look, I don't expect you to agree with me. Let's just say that the problem was that you never did. Anyway, still there. Whatever's happened since, however happy we are now, it's never going to be entirely healed, is it? When Sam...